it's the, I'm trying to get, you know what I'm trying to do? When I look up, the light beams into my glasses. And it's probably a weird look, so I'm trying to look down here. It's the 1st of October, which is, you know, start of pumpkin growing month, which is great. I really want to have this video or a video like this done well ahead of time, but I'm pretty slack at doing that. I really need a hard deadline that seems to be what motivates me. I'm going to start some seeds today. Now I'm going to, oh, I'm going to uh, use some of these. These are the seeds from my pumpkin last year, uh, grown in the Tiny Patch 2.0. They are 83 kilos estimate. Remember I never actually went anywhere to get it weighed because our event got cancelled. But that's okay, I'm going to go with 83 kilos. I'm going to see how fast they germinate. I've probably got some older ones that I'm going to set up as well. And we'll go from there. Uh, I did a video on how to start giant pumpkin seeds. It's like two minutes long, covers everything you need. I think it's very good, um, but I may be biased. So if you want to check that out, uh, the link will be in the description below, or I think you can put it up here. It's raining, I don't want to go outside, but I do have some compost bags down here that I do need to get upstairs, get them outside. Uh, I've got a different tool to um, dig up and mix in that. Um, I know everybody loves the weedo, but the weedo is only really good if the soil is uh, nice, nice and perfect. Otherwise it just hits tree roots and it doesn't really work. So I've got this other thing, I can't remember what it's called, wouldn't have a clue. So it's got spikes and turn it. I'll have some footage of that in a sec. I think ideally you'd want a broad fork, but I don't know how well the broad fork would work in ground that has got tree roots and bits and pieces in the way. But broad forks are a bit expensive. Uh, and for the tiny patch it's a bit of overkill. Maybe one day I'll get one, but for now I'm not going to do that. So, going to get these seeds started. Oh, also I need to pull out the um, the seed starting box that I have. It's just got some bits and pieces in it. That has the grow light in it. You know, the big ass LED thing that I got from China. And it's about it, seed starting time. Uh, someone messaged me and said, hey, should I start my seeds now? Our event is in February the 25th. I think they're way up north, but that's a very early, early very early event. Uh, here in New Zealand you'll find like mid to late March is normal and then there's some people down south that have it in April so it all varies but if you're wondering check out this page um, the life cycle of a giant pumpkin. I've got a calculator that I built and it sort of gives you some ranges so if you put in the start time start date uh, it'll tell you when you should be germinating and potentially transplanting and potentially have a pumpkin ready. Now it's it's based on actual you know, growing data, but it, it can vary for everybody, so uh, don't complain to me if your season is a bit different. I hope you're well, I hope everything's going great. If you know somebody that wants to grow a giant pumpkin and you've seen this, please let them know right now that they need to sort out some seeds uh, and they can start growing very soon. Check out the free resources on my website as well. Uh, there's a one page uh, grower's starter guide, just a real simple page to get people going. There's a tracking form um, I don't know, there's all sorts of bits and pieces, so check that out. I'm trying to find the um, cheapo nail files that I use for pumpkin seed filing. I have no idea where they would be. Luckily I found them. Uh, this has lasted me quite a few years, there's not that many left. Two bucks, can't go wrong. Dual sided apparently makes it even better. And while I'm looking for that, I realized that I had the seed soak stuff. Pre-germination soak suitable for organics, improved strike rate and quality of growth. I don't know if this is any good, but I, I think it was cheap-ish. I got it, uh, I think I got it at the same time I got the heat mat. And I'm gonna put that in my favorite container. This is a beetroot container. Uh, I think this works really well, I've used this for years. So I'm gonna file some seeds and then let them soak. Probably let them soak for a couple of hours. People vary on that. Uh, and then from there, I've got a plastic bag on the table, heat mat, and they don't need the LED light, just heat mat. And uh, we'll see just how that goes. So it's been a couple of hours uh, since I've started the seed soaking process. And um, I think that's enough, that's all they need. They're gonna get the moisture in them and apparently this stuff's gonna help. So I've started three seeds, three, 
and they're all the same seed from the same pumpkin. I'm expecting them to germinate within 72 hours in a perfect world. And um, yeah, we'll see how they go. I'll start some more tomorrow, probably find out, find some other ones, some different ones. So I just have to set up the table and uh, set up the heat mat. Hey, um, I don't know what I said in the last video, but it's about five days later since I started the pumpkin seeds and nothing happened as as fast as I thought it was going to. So that's okay, it's just a thing. Also, we've got really cold temperatures, like it's uh, gonna be minus two tonight in Hamilton, which is crazy. Christchurch has had snow in October, the first time in 53 or something years. So for the box over here, I did put the lid on. I didn't think it was getting up to enough temperature. If I'm looking at the temp right now, it's only at 15 degrees because it's battling the cold in here of the garage so maybe i should have set this upstairs in the lounge we'll see we'll have a look another seed that's still solid as i'm wondering if i should crank the uh temp up of the heat pad okay change that be a bit warmer Another seed that still looks good. So there we go. I hope um, corruption, hope things are going well for you. Uh, I hope you got your seeds started. I hope this cold weather's not putting you off. It's going to be a bit weird. I think we're going to have a really cold start to the season. We're going to have to make sure that there's good pumpkin protection in place. And then for the summer, I think it's going to be super, super hot. We're going to make sure that we can keep the plants cool as we can and make sure they have enough water so it's gonna be that weird balancing act maybe it's climate change maybe it's something else who knows hey guys uh back in the garage uh moving stuff around so oh all three pumpkins have germinated which is good so cranking this temperature up and putting the lid on the box definitely helped and making sure that they stay moist i had to add a bit more water to their little plastic bags this is the first one, it's hard to see, but it is just about to pop up. Uh, once it's out, I will have to rig up that grow light. This is pumpkin two. Remember, they're all the same type. Pumpkin two has, I don't know if you can see that, probably not. It has um, split open, so that's okay. And this is pumpkin three, which is super crazy, um, the explosive growth that this thing wants to grow at. So um, both of them are gonna get put into a pot right now. So. so all three seeds are in three separate pots. I've used these slightly smaller pots this year, uh, just cause they were the closest thing I had on hand. We'll see if I need to transplant them into a different pot or what the deal is there, I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm very happy with how these seeds germinated. Like I said, this is my pumpkin from earlier, or 2022 season, so earlier in this year. Um, really good. I will start some second ones soon probably tomorrow yeah tomorrow We've got day off today is a bit busy but trying to juggle a whole bunch of stuff so anyway i hope things are going well for you i hope the seed starting the season start all that is going good i know some people have had trouble with some seeds um that's just part and parcel sometimes with this giant pumpkin growing hobby so anyway yeah i think it's about it you may be hearing that slight whine in the background i'm not sure if the mic's picking that up but what that is is I've got a fan and I've got a grow light and they're both going it right now. If I turn that off, but that's okay. So let's talk about light and your pumpkin plant. Actually, this works for most plants. If they're in a dark environment and they find a light source, they will grow towards that. Now I've grown pumpkin seedlings on a windowsill before because I didn't really have much space, I didn't have a light, I didn't have anything. And they grew very fast, but they were very leggy, very long. And the stems are super skinny and they're not good because once you get them into the pumpkin patch, they can flop around, they're easy to snap and they're just not good overall. And I've actually got one here that's grown really fast out of these seedlings. I was a bit slow getting it from the germination box that I have with a heat pad and putting it over here. Let me just turn that light on. 
get that nice purple blinding glow. This one here has popped out pretty quick and it's a bit too leggy. So how do we stop the legginess? Well, we bring the light to the plant and we have it just above the, uh, the pots. This one here, I can carefully take that seed coat off. Doesn't need it anymore. So as you can see, I've got the grow light. I've got about three to four inches, I guess. Um, it could be a little bit lower. This doesn't put out any heat, really. It's all LEDs. And these lights are apparently beneficial beneficial to the plant. The plant likes this. So this one, as you can see, is still quite stocky. This one here is still ready to, still got to pop out. Okay. That's the light situation. So when you're in a normal greenhouse, like a big commercial greenhouse or quite a big one, the whole area is covered in the plastic and the plastic is not clear. It's like cloudy or what's the right word for that? Um, opaque. It's opaque. And because of that, all the light coming in is real nice and it's really uniform everywhere so the plant doesn't have to fight and try and grow towards light because there's light everywhere but if you're growing at home you may not have that luxury now of course you do not want these starting outside usually because if there's a cold frost they can die uh, they can stunt the growth i will have a video and talk about transplanting later but for now try and have a really good light source. I do have this LED grow light thing from uh, AliExpress. I think it works well. I don't know, it seems to. Just try and do whatever you can to have a good light source, I guess is the key if you're a first time giant pumpkin grower. Now you might be wondering what this little fan's doing. This is a wonky shot, sorry about that, but this little fan is blowing up and it's bouncing down so it's not blown directly on these seeds and it's slowly as you can see, it's jiggling that seedling. And you might be wondering why is it doing that? Isn't, you know, this is potentially drying out these pots. I have to make sure that they're nice and damp at all times. But the thing it's doing is it's simulating outside. So with those little micro vibrations, as the plant grows, probably not that first one, like I said, it's a bit too leggy, but definitely the second one and the third one when it decides to make an appearance those micro movements help that stem get more stocky. The plant wants to stable itself, so it sort of grows with a stockier stem. That's a little tip for you there. So if you have a little fan and you can um, have it running most of the time, you'll find that your seedling should become a little stockier than uh, if you didn't. That's the trick there. I'm waiting for these seedlings to grow bigger and I want to make sure I've got that third leaf. I have talked about this before. If you're new to this, you really need to have the first two leaves. Now the first two there, the other cottle leaves, they are just the two leaves that are contained inside the seed. They're not very important, they don't do anything, they won't grow any more really, they're just there. It's the third leaf which will appear in the middle of these two that's the first true leaf that's what we call it and the vine grows opposite that first true leaf so you know where your vine's going to grow you know how to place it uh, that comes in with the transplanting later but you have to wait until they're a bit bigger a because you might have a frost or crazy wind or weather which may destroy it and b you really want to know which way to orientate this pumpkin plant hey uh I shot a bunch of video at the start of the month and I was uh, planning on using all that but obviously get busy and video editing takes a while and well here we are and it's the bloody 25th of October so I thought I'd have an update. I've got six seedlings on the go, I've got three originals, one, two and three and then four, five and six are the backups and you know you got that real number one, the real leggy one, that's that one, they need a bit of a water. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I got busy in slack, so not good. Also, is this light like, how's that? Anyway, um, two, looking pretty good. Three, which was the pretty good one to begin with, um, okay, 
but a bit yellow, lacking some sort of nutrient. And then the others, well, you got this one which hasn't quite opened, and four and five look like that. So while I was going to have this whole video all about seed starting and stuff, which I probably will, I'll jumble it all up or I'll edit this in before or after, who knows. I'm going to take these upstairs and I want to harden them off. I'm going to give them a really good water upstairs and I'm going to mix up some seaweed fertilizer and give that to them as well just to help them. So one, two and three are going upstairs. Three, four and five can just, sorry, four, five and six can stay down here a little bit. I've got my little crate that I got today just for this one job actually. Uh, what else has been happening? That's about it. Obviously Labor Weekend's been and gone because it's the 25th now, Tuesday, and I really was thinking of getting the pumpkin seedlings out there. I'm waiting on a product. I'm actually waiting on some myco, uh, mycorrhizae fungi that I got from some random crowd I found on the internet. Came from Dunedin, but the courier wouldn't drop it off because there was no signature. Don't you hate that? So I have to pick that up tomorrow morning, reassess what the weather's going to be like. I think it's cloudy, which is great. Uh, reassess what these guys look like and I will probably get a plant in the ground. Anyway, I hope things are going well for you. Uh, let me know in the comments below and is October good for you? Let me know. It's time. It's time to transplant this one. I've gone with number three. I've got six of these. They're all the same, of course. Rest this camera on a cron concrete crocodile. That makes sense. Uh, this one had a little bit of yellowing. You can see that on that leaf. I think it'll come right, oh, I think it'll come right once it's in the patch. I want to get it in there now because I want to have the options of the backups as well. So it's sort of like a timing thing. And I think it'll be good. We're going to the little tiny uh, gun shed. I've got to get the protection out, which is a tubular pop-up thing. Okay, a couple of things we need. Well, I'm using, I don't know if you need it, but I've got the seedling. I showed you that before. It's super overcast today and humid so it's not going to be super bright sunlight which is good as you can see the camera's having trouble with it the seedling has been hardened off so it is used to the outside conditions which is great i've got the pile of composty stuff here it'll need a really good um water soon but one thing i'm doing a bit different this year just because i saw it and i thought that made sense is i've got an exact empty pot, exact same size empty pot I think it was Andy Wolf was talking about this at the GPC Growers Online Convention thing. Here comes the sun. We'll see how today goes. But I'm going to fill this pot with dirt, put it in, and then I have a hole that's the exact size that I need for the seedling. I'm not stuffing around with a hole that's too big, too small, or anything like that. I thought that was a good idea. I've got the Sea Cliff Myco, Mycorrhizae Fungi. It looks like that. And it's, it always looks like that, so... That's good. Now the trick is you want to get it on the roots. During transplanting you can sprinkle it in there or it's most effective when it's uh, applied directly to the root. So I've got a ice cream container here. I'm going to put a little bit of water in, some of the myco, and then sort of try and coat the seedling as I put it in. And then um, obviously put a bit more in with the hole. You don't need too much. The idea is just that that'll cling on and start helping that plant. The planting area. Oh my gosh, it's so humid. Um, I'm gonna go here. You usually want a bit of a mound. Um, so it sort of helps raise it up, but this whole area is sort of raised, so I'm not too worried about it um, compared to previous years. Okay, number one tip is don't drop the seedling. That's uh, a little bit of a slurry, I guess. And of course, you should know by now that the um, pumpkin vine is going to grow opposite the first true leaf so those two are in the seed coat that's the first true leaf the vine's going to go this way uh, if you need a bit more information check out the website for that a little bit more in there and I'm going to put the rest of that on Like I said, this is the best one at this point in time. I do have backups just in case, but I'm hoping this one uh, takes off and looks good. We'll see. I'm going to give it a big dosing. Dosing? A dose? I don't know. Big water anyway. This has got some of the seaweed in it. I quite like that stuff. Okay. This is my little uh, pop-up round thing. 
It's ideal for when the seedlings are small, uh, not ideal when it's bigger, and in fact I should probably have more protection than this. But, we'll see how we go. It's um, great for wind, that's my biggest concern around this area. It goes on like that. You have these tabs, which you can stake. Uh, I use bamboo stakes usually for that. Nah, they'll do it just bamboo. It's not going to go anywhere. Let's take that off. There's a zip off top, and it actually has like a little panel if you want to control it that way. So, okay, transplanted 2023 season. Here we go. I'm um, not sure about this grass situation. I've got to put this stuff away before it rains. Uh, let me know how you're doing.